Hi, today we're going to see how to stop reacting to the latest and loudest. Have you been in office, say after a meeting, and you don't know what to do next? What do you do when you don't know what to do next? If you're like most people, you would resort to doing your default behavior, which may be checking your latest email, checking your latest WhatsApp message, answering the latest phone call, answering the latest knock at your door. If you're low on energy, maybe scrolling through your latest Facebook posts or your latest news feed. That in GTD is what we call reacting to the latest and loudest. And this is how I avoid reacting to the latest and loudest. I follow a process called reflect. There are two reflect process that I follow. The first is the daily reflect and the second, the weekly reflect. Now in the daily reflect, these are the two lists and maps that I reflect on or that I look at regularly. Now, the first list of map is my calendar. Now my calendar is a really important list. It tells me what my commitments are and at what time. And I look at it the night before to see what are what is my hard landscape for the next day. What are the commitments and agreements that I have made for the next day? And then I look at it throughout the day to make sure that I am present and prepared for the meeting or call that I have pre agreed upon. Now, when I have some empty space in my calendar and I can choose how I want to spend my time, I do not look at my email. I do not look at my WhatsApp message, never Facebook. What I do look at is my next actions list. Which next action list? Well, that's simple. Which context am I in? If I'm in office, I would look at my office list because I would not be office for the whole day. So I better look at my office list and see if there's something I need to move forward there. Then I'd look at my computer list. If I'm at home, I would look at my home list. If I'm at got just my phone with me, I would look at my calls list. So I am consciously choosing what to do rather than reacting to it. Now, of course, I may look at my email and my WhatsApp, but only after I've looked at my next action list and seen that, hey, these actions here can wait. Let me check what new messages have come in for me. Do I need to move forward on that or uh, the next action list that I've just looked upon? So I'm consciously choosing from the list rather than reacting to it. Now, of course, interruptions may happen. In fact, they will happen. That's the nature of life and that's the nature of workspaces. But you're in a much better position to deal with interruption or not move forward with interruption if you're consciously choosing what to do from a list of things that you've agreed upon rather than just reacting to the latest interruption that has come your way. Of course, how well you can choose from your list depends on how clean the list is and how current it is. So to get it clean and current, there is the process that we do called the weekly reflect or the weekly review. That's what I'm going to discuss in my next video. I hope you found this useful. Till I see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye.